If I try to look back and imagine my life without fencing, I think I'm a completely different person than I am today. You shouldn't have to go to a private school to be able to fence. You should be able to go to a school in Harlem and fence. I grew up in Washington Heights and I went to elementary school um, in East Harlem and when I was in school there there were no fencing programs and I only started fencing at a private school and so as I got through college and my first Olympic experiences I realized how fortunate I was to have had an opportunity to fence and when I decided to start this program I thought you know the place I'm going to start it is back in Harlem. Honestly, I thought it was just like a regular like sword fight, stuff like like Star Wars type stuff. It's a very calculated sport. There's a lot of strategy, a lot of thinking, and you got to have the technique down too. And you know, when I was watching the kids play basketball, it's the same kind of footwork, skill level you're gonna need to be an excellent basketball player. It's the same kind of thing you have to do in fencing. This is the on guard position. Everyone say on guard. Whenever I've introduced fencing, and that now has been to tens of thousands of kids across the country, whether it's in Idaho or in Harlem, the kids get excited. As soon as you put a saber in their hand, and you put them out there for a match, I mean, they get into it. Good job, good job. Rock, a little clap, a little clap. Okay. So we're going to get you guys dressed. As you put your leg through the strap. Wait, if my head won't fit to Well, we'll figure something out. We'll do something there. So there's different size masks. What's up? I need a large. We'll help you. We'll get a large and we'll do this as soon as back. So. <laughs> yeah, you do. You need an extra small yeah, peanut. Yeah, he's got a peanut. <laughs> oh, really? Now? Yo, settle it. Settle it on the strip, Asana. That's all you got to say. Tim Morehouse approached us a couple years ago um, about fencing in the schools, and I think the fencing aspect was really important to the physical education program because there's a tremendous amount of fencing opportunities, uh, scholarships for college that there's less people going for than there are for a basketball scholarship on a Division One right, level. So we're gonna do a quick little team tournament. It's us versus them right now. Okay? If we win, if we win, we'll get the special pizza when we order pizza. We'll get, like, we'll get like the meat lovers or something, pepperoni or something. But if you lose, if you lose, that pizza's going on the floor now. And you, you got, then you got to get the cheese. All right? Hard work on three, man. Let's get hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. We got it, baby. How you wearing Jordan's? It can't be like Mike. Uh, Mike I'm going to really tell good. Mr. Morehouse that I will coach this team only if I can get a pair of Tim Morehouse shoes, because my man has his own shoes. All right, next bout, next bout. All right, one, one. I'm watching that foot, Rena. We need these points. Oh, oh. Let's go, Christina. Oh, oh. So she lands. I'm right, so staying my lane. five wins, we have four wins. We're going to nine. She jumps back. Come on. Come on. To be able to bring fencing into Harlem right now, I just want to make it as accessible. I want kids to grow up with the sport of fencing. If they find they love it, I want them to be able to pursue it as a varsity sport. I want them to be able to go to college and fence. And I want them, if, if they've got the talent they're willing to put in the hard work, to be able to take it all the way to the Olympics. Do it for the pepperoni. I mean, I love the enthusiasm. The kids were like, look, I'm an Olympian. It's like their first day fencing, but they're like, I want to take him on. Like, I love that. I mean, that's the kind of attitude that you need to win. He hit him. He hit him. He hit him. Run the tape back. Run the tape back. He hit him in the head. We'll give him the fight. We'll give him the fight. We'll give him the fight. We got 8-8. All right, next point win. I hope fencing continues to diversify. Obviously, its tradition is sort of kings and nobility and the sort of upper class sort of snooty sport, but I think that that's changing and I think it, it can be one of the most accessible sports in the world and, and played all over the place. Well, you know, I never thought in a million years I would be fencing against an Olympic medalist, but just to like score against um, Olympian, it was 
crazy. I'm gonna brag a lot about that. But uh, I want to show you guys, I brought my Olympic silver medal with me. Ooh. You know, winning a silver medal in Beijing was like a moment like anything is possible. And I've taken that with me. Like if you set big goals, anything is possible. And when I think about what we want to do, it's big. I want to help change the country and, and do it using a saber. We gathered him up and I said, you know, if you guys want to go and play, and play ball, you can play ball. But none of them wanted to. They all wanted to keep the gear on and keep fencing. 